Yes, people. This is her birthday, the 13th. And she gave, she gave a massive puff this morning. As you can see. Massive, massive. people these are the kind of stones dropping out this sky at the moment yes up in sandy bay era sandy bay yeah man look at them they're real big yeah man anyway tommy you good bar jam farm today is april the 13th and look out outside it is the first i've seen a blue sky since saturday and the sun is out and the sky is looking really beautiful i'm I don't know but I'm hoping that the dust finish I don't know I really don't know but I'm just hoping guys because when I woke up this morning outside looking very beautiful and chirpy so we start even for wash even for start wash clothes but I know I'm not gonna put them outside I'm gonna put them inside the house but we're just hoping for the best and I hope things get better in St. Vincent so that, that this dust will go away and everybody will be fine you know but look at Barbados right now so beautiful the sky is blue give thanks to life what time you walking you walk this morning girl uh, I'm about 20 past 7 20 past 7 that that's like that mean that was twenty five that was half an hour ago. Yeah 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 yeah. Oh show it 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 was it was a bad it was a bad um explosion. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm watching how he 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 he. I'm watching how he 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 like which barber is about nine o'clock or so. Yeah, say it takes about a nine it takes an hour hour say it about nineteen minutes to reach barbers. Yeah, you coming here, we know you know we coming. Where you where you find you? So as you all just heard, there was another big explosion coming straight out of St. Vincent this morning around after seven o'clock. I think he said 20 plus 7 uh -huh. and it says it takes about 19 minutes to reach Barbados also so I guess how much minutes? about 19 minutes 90? yeah an hour and a half so I guess Barbados got to prepare for another um major set of ash fall sometime early this morning to mid afternoon something like that and even after all like yesterday's cleaning up into today wow another major explosion guys we got to really I don't know, pray, because he said, as he said, St. Vincent is like so bad right now. Ash everywhere, people houses giving in, there's, there wasn't no light, some areas no light, no water being, water being turned off. Wow, St. Vincent does not have it good right now, this volcano, and we and Barbers, we have it less, as the volcano is not too close, but... We still got to deal with a whole heap of ash and we don't know how long it's going to last. So we just got to pray, keep praying and just hope for the best, you yes. know. And I'm not saying that I'm not really sorry for Barbados right now, but St. Vincent have it so bad. Just listening to Fabian friend just while ago and I was like feeling terrified. I felt so angry inside. I felt so sad. He said people, um... So I have uh, need food, water, and stuff like that. I mean, this morning we have water. We got clean running water, and then people want water and stuff. Cause you sell like all the crops. Majority of crops done. So this have died through the, the thickness of the ash. Too much ash just covered all the vegetation. The crops are dying. Animals dying, and the 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 whole country is not evacuated. So he, it's like in the red zone, the orange zone, the events have been evacuated. Some people choose to stay, which is a, a risk to their own lives. But like he said, he said that if things does get worse, probably the whole of St. Vincent may have to evacuate for the safety of their life. My God. God, I put St. Vincent in your hands this morning, God. I pray that you may heal the land, you know? Because you got to trust God and pray. And hope that things will really get better. I'm really feeling for them this morning, man. Because when the man talked this morning, 
I started to feel really sad. It's very hard, you know. And imagine we just got through Corona, you know, a lot of people lost their job and stuff like that. And then this again. But keep praying for them, guys. Just keep praying for them and remember them in your prayers. Because this thing seems like it's going to go on for a little while. Because right now, as me show you, outside look nice and the sunny. Outside is so bright and sunny. It, I, I thought the, everything was like, yeah, over. Because I even told Fabian this morning, babes, what? outside look like it's over. I but had a massive explosion a couple minutes ago. I know it's coming, guys. It's coming. But it's all in the news. We got to stay prayed up, you know? Yeah. Whatever. Anything else I want to say, So much uncertainty these days. You don't know how tomorrow is going to bring. Yeah. What is going to happen tomorrow, but you just, just give thanks for life and keep on fighting, keep on having the faith. One of my workmates, um, his family lives in St. Vincent, and he was talking to them yesterday, and she was telling them how things are. They only had biscuit and bread supermarkets are closed they can't get anything out of, they can't go outside to get anything to eat and i literally cried because it was so sad to hear her say that that they can't get any food right now or anything i was like my god you know god have mercy upon them and help them send help to their rescue i think well, the, i think the, Trini, the trinidadian government is sending the Trini army down there to help with supplies and stuff like that a lot of the other Caribbean countries are, are coming to their assistance as well. I think the US and I think China, I'm not certain. But yeah, a lot of the governments are really coming to St. Vincent. Yeah, this time they really need it. Because uh -huh. Corona was... Corona did a lot. Then then they have this volcano right on the heels of Corona. It's not and, easy. <laughs> but... As I said, we got to keep prayed up and stay positive and just hope for the best. Because you know what? It doesn't matter what small we have. We have to be thankful because this is what St. Vincent is going through right now. Who will know so the evil can go explode anytime soon? Nobody knew that, you know? So just everything we have to give God thanks in every, everything that we do. And just have faith. But one of you does subscribe, like and share and comment down below. And make sure you want to subscribe. Yeah, hit that notification bell. So y'all could stay updated with all these happenings. <laughs> I don't know, worldly happenings, but this all these happenings that's going on in Barbados with this volcano ash around the world is just just crazy, guys. It's seen every world is coming to an end. It's seen it coming to some grand climax. Earthquake, this place, that place. Yeah. Just give God thanks and, re and repent and draw close to God. That's all I can say. All right, so not most likely, I am going to record when the explosion. I would say explosion. No, when it does begins, I'm gonna record that whenever I see it's coming. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, this be like an hour and a half later, and you y'all can see that it's coming our way. The clouds starting to change outside, so you, you can see a little blue sky and a little dark sky. In between, are they coming from so from east? It's Fabian says it's coming from the east, but y'all can see outside look different, totally different. Yo. The full thing not coming, but you can see say it's a forward.